Hello everyone, so what I just created is, so let's move on the code, as you can see it's a label, an input, and OK, and cancel button. And this is creating the window, created the event and value for reading it, and also a condition to check. If I press the cancel button, and also I did this one, sg.winclose, this is the X button for closing the window, and we, when we press on it, we close the window. This is called a single shot window. So there are two types of windows. There's single shot window and persistent window. A single shot window is once you click, for example, OK, the window close. This is a single shot window. But persistent window, even if you press OK, the program will not stop and the window will not be closed. So let's create a while loop here. So we create a persistent window with a while loop. So that's why we need a, a brick to get out of this while loop. That's why we're going to add the brick here in the event when we press cancel or we press the X button of the window. What we need to do is also indent this. We don't need this line. And now let's run it. Let's write and click on OK. As you can see, we get the result here, the output, but the program isn't closed yet, so we I can write more. The program isn't closed yet. It's until we press cancel or the X button to end the program. OK, in the input element, there is a parameter called enable event and by default it's false so let's make it true the result is that it will print any modification inside this input element let's run our code if i write p as you can see the p is printed if i continue writing as you can see each progress each letter i write it it will be printed okay let's add another text here our input here let's clear it and let's add the key output and now what I want to do is I will print in this text anything that I write inside this entry and to do that we're going to do an else if statement to check it else if event if the event is equal to ok I can also check if it's not empty and values input this means that the input isn't empty. Okay, so if I press on OK and the input isn't empty, we're going to update the output label. So window, window output dot update by the value of the input. Okay, now let's try our code and see if it works. I try for example python press ok as you can see we get python here if we change it to c++ press ok as you can see the label is now c++ we don't need to enable the enable event in this example okay now let's see how many themes do we have let's see the themes list i'm gonna comment everything and then here do comment everything except the first line for important so sg dot theme list print it as you can see this is a list of all our themes let's find one let's do this i don't know dot green okay so i'm gonna comment this and and comment everything and here at the beginning sg dot theme inside a string paste our theme name uh, let's print our code as you can see this is the theme that we choose we can choose another one. Let's do dark teal one. Let's see how it looks. Okay, and there is a default one. Control F, default. And this one. As you can see, this is the default. Okay, look what I have created. Two radio buttons, a label, and input. So. What I want to create is when I check on married these two elements, the text and the input will be displayed. So first they have to be hidden and to do that 
Before that, uh, as you can see, this is the normal syntax for those elements. This is a group. I named them all, both one. Uh, the, I added a key and also added enable events. If you remember, any change you make, it will track it. The same thing to the other radio. So also here uh, that I added a text, which is children now as you saw. I also added to it a keyword. And also the input has a keyword. I reduced the width to 10. And to make them invisible, all elements have a parameter called visible. Visible is equal to false. Uh, let's copy this here and put it here. And now if we run the code again, we no longer see those two elements. Okay, now what we want to do is when we choose married, we should make those two elements visible. Let's go to the if statement. Else if event is equal to the key married, which is this one here, married. We're going to update those two elements. So window, this key, which is children name, dot update. Let's set the visibility visible is equal to true. I'm going to copy this and paste it and let's change the, the key. Now, if we run our code, if I press single, nothing happens. If I press on married, the two elements will be appeared. If I click on two and press on OK, we get children is two. And that's how we display elements based on event.